For Newsy, I'm Logan Tittle. Many questions remain unanswered Sunday following the death of decorated Navy SEAL Chris Kyle. KXAS explains the veteran was fatally shot at a place he was fairly familiar with. He and Chad Littlefield were shot and killed at a shooting range yesterday. Police arrested the suspected shooter, Eddie Ray Routh of Lancaster, after a brief chase last night. He was arraigned on two counts of capital murder overnight. Chris Kyle had retired from life as a Navy SEAL, but he was known as the U.S. military's most lethal sniper. The Star-Telegram explains he provided overwatch protection for Marines and other U.S. troops and earned a reputation for his proficiency with more than 150 kills. Kyle served 10 years, which included four tours in Iraq. Following his time in the service, he was awarded two silver stars and five bronze stars. The Today Show's Lester Holt spoke with Kyle last year about the one shot that made him legendary among fellow snipers and says he remembers the Navy SEAL as a true American hero. He hit his mark from 2,100 yards. 2,100 yards. Lucky shot? Extremely lucky shot. It's so ironic that four tours in Iraq had some very close calls only to lose his life in Texas. The motive behind Kyle's killing is still unclear, but Good Morning America suggests the suspect's psychological baggage from his time at war might be to blame. Authorities have arrested 25-year-old Eddie Ray Ruth, a former Marine believed to be suffering from PTSD. His death raises concerns over whether enough is being done for U.S. soldiers returning and for home and suffering from PTSD. Chris Kyle leaves behind a wife and two kids. For Newsy, I'm Logan Tittle.